the shop. No one wants to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with it because the worst part about it is logging into all of these characters and dealing with this hog swoggle. But let me show you something that has been imparted to me upon my friends in my Discord server. And let me show you how you can kind of circumvent this situation here. So um, go ahead and press it. I'm, I'm live streaming right now and recording this. So if you're watching this as a VOD and you're like, what the fuck? Why is he in the corner? He's never in the corner. Well, this is why. So first things first, you're going to head on over to the Chrome store. I'm going to put a link to this in the, uh, the description. And you're going to install the Armory Exchange Chrome uh, extension. Now, before you start wondering, is this illegal? Uh, does Dart, is, is Fat Shark okay with it? They've released a statement saying that they're totally fine with this. It leverages the API. There's no funny business here. We're not going to be banning anyone for it. No big deal. Then once you do that, you'll go to accounts.atoma.cloud. Again, I will put a link there for you. And you're going to go ahead and connect to your Steam. Now I am going to put this over here. I'm going to do this over here. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to log into Steam over on this. You guys don't get to see this part. My Steam Authenticator. And we are good. And here we go. So now I can see what is in the Armory Exchange, which is the, the gold store, of course, for every single character that I have. I am saving you tons of time. So... I can also sort this. I can filter this out too. Like, hey, you know what? I just want to see the melee weapons and I want to sort this by modifier rating. Or I want to sort this out by the, how much credits it's going to cost or how or what the alpha, what it is alphabetically. Whatever it is, the rarity, whatever I want to do, I can sort that. Same over here with the zealot. Like, let's say, you know what? I'm trying to find the Mach 5 combat axe. Well, I have filters on by melee, but I want a certain rating. So I want the highest modifier rating I can get. Sort by modifier rating. In fact, I'm gonna enhance this so you can see it a little bit better. Right here is your drop down menu. And right here is your filter. And then I can see I have right now on my zealot without actually being on my zealot and we'll log on to, to confirm that it's there. This, the Atrox uh, Mark IV tactical axe as well as the blessings that it has on it, I'm sorry, the perks that it has on it, the blessings, and of course, each of the modifier rolls. The credits it costs, its overall rating, and what rarity it is. So this is blue right here, right? This is huge, man. This is absolutely massive. This is gonna save so much goddamn time because I spend so much time logging into all my characters, but most importantly, it's not the fact that I'm logging into the characters that takes time, it's changing operative. For some reason, going from my zealot back from the character selection screen to my psyker takes forever forever so this saves so much time i can go all the way through this list we can go down to the bottom and it looks oh i've got the, my filter still on let's shut off my filter filter is off and i'm going to go down to the bottom here and we'll see curios any curios at the very bottom here so it is a huge boon to you, the player. Um, the nice thing too here, of course, when you are looking at this, you're going to want to be looking for anything that's item rating 350 or higher. Um, so that's absolutely crucial for you. You want to make sure you're looking for that 350 or higher. Let's take a look at my uh, my Psyker. Okay, he's got a Trauma Force staff on him. Cool. No one's ever going to use that. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> okay, we actually have uh, Infantry Laz Gun, Mark 12. And that's at 361 modifier. It's got good damage roll. Stability doesn't really matter to me for the, the Lasgun because it's already kind of a laser pointer. 80 stopping power. I'd like to have more ammo. I like to have that's that's good mobility. So I can know that now I can just go over to my computer. Um, because you can use this um with your uh what the hell is that thing called? Your browser. Your your, your this this thing, the phone, the phone that you that we all have. Uh uh uh, uh a cell phone, a mobile app. You can look at it in your mobile, 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 mobile time USA. And you can just kind of look at it from through there and go, okay, hey, this has got what I want it to have. Go ahead and jump onto my computer and get what I need. So now that we've seen this, we've taken a look at all these things, let's jump into the game and kind of confirm that they're there, right? The nice thing too is that this is gonna show me uh when the army exchange refreshes too so um i believe that this is only a 
a Chrome extension though for those that are on possibly Firefox or Opera GX or uh, anything else. Unfortunately, I think this is only a Chrome extension and I will be posting the, uh, the information on this, of course, in the uh, description as well as the pinned comment. So you can go, go as you guys can go ahead and just pull it from there um, and kind of do whatever sleuthing you want to do. So we're going to be playing our veteran in our stream today. So let me actually take a look through here. Nothing really standing out to me. Auto gun, brace auto gun, a combat axe. I'll have to, and you know what? We are going to have to. We'll just we'll just confirm it with the zealot. So let's go back into the game. Put to our zealot. And remember, we are looking for a this guy right here. We're confirming that this all exists as it stands on this website to ensure that this is not a bogus website. Now, again, I, uh, the Fat Shark has said that this is an actual legal thing you can do. That's not going to get you banned or anything like that. So in case you're worried about it, you do not have to worry about it. Let's, let's take five, five and a half hours to load in. This is what I mean when I say it takes so long to switch from character to character to make sure that you get all the stuff you need. My dog is down here chewing the hell out of his toy whilst we wait for this to load. Now, I could have just cut this out, but because it's a live stream, I can't cut anything out. This is live. We are doing it live. Oh, it's in. Okay, so go ahead. And go over here. Now, of course, everything in the army exchange is not organized by modifier rating, right? So, I believe it's this guy right here. And let's just kind of confirm this. We'll do a little bit of this action. And we can see, for the most part, this thing is spot on the same. Well, for the most part, it is. Modifier is 355, 354, so that's a little bit different, but damage is 49%. Penetration here is 72%. Critical bonus is 79%. Mobility is 80%. And finesse is 75%. The perk is a tier 3 perk, as we see the 3 right there, denoting the 3 right there as well. 20% damage, carapace, armored enemies, and shred 1%. I'm sorry, shred 1, 2% bonus critical chance on repeated hit, stacks 5 times. It's the same damn thing. So... This is huge, uh, and credits cost 16365, 16365. So just to kind of confirm that this is indeed, obviously, the exact same thing. It's absolutely huge. I really love it. Um, as just another quick point about modifiers, if you're looking at something like, say, your, your tactical axe, for example, just make sure that you're, if you're looking at it on the browser and you look at like, well, ah, the mobility is not that high. Well, the mobility on a tactical axe is either four or five. So it's not that much of a difference when it comes to this dodge limit. So just make sure that you have a good mindset for your individual modifiers before you really start to use this app a ton because you don't want to sit there and look at something and go, oh man, 49% damage. I don't want to bother with that. Obviously, you do want to bother with that on tactical or a tactical axe, right? You're not going to touch a 49% if, if, if you've got... Um, better rolls out there. But let's just say that 49% was here in penetration. Just be aware of what 49% actually looks like in the in the intervals for the penetration value on this weapon so that you get the most out of it, so that you're not just simply passing on something that you see I have a low roll on. I mean, a really good example would be uh, my Crusher is an amazing roll, but it's got really low defenses, and the defenses on it, it's, it's not enough for me to really want to care so it's sprint cost push cost dodge distance and dodge speed well all those things are kind of negligible to me as far as the grand scheme of things but as long as the rest of these are really high it's a good buy and this is what i mean is if i had seen this on the app of 346 modifier maybe if i had not known what the defense role did for my crusher i actually would not have bought this so that's what i mean before you actually really use this app a ton know the weapon you're looking for and know the intervals that are present with that weapon and how they actually kind of play together. And last thing here is my good friend Jimmy D found a website where you, and I'll link this in the, uh, in the pin comment as well, where you can simply do this all on mobile. So how to install Chrome extensions on Android. I don't know how this works. If you have a iPhone, get with the future, get an Android 
who uses iPhones. That's just a yearly subscription to Apple at this point. So uh, I'll post this up in here so you can go ahead and tap into it to use the Kiwi browser. Um, I don't know much about it. I am, I'm personally not using it. And please, for the love of God, do not send me advertisements for Eve online. That's like putting alcohol in a recovering alcoholic's house. So um, hopefully this got, helped you guys out. If you have any questions or if you're using it, go ahead and let me know what some feedback, how you're, how you're enjoying it or if you're not enjoying it or if you wish there was more transparency in there. Like I think it'd be really cool if this also showed me what my limited acquisitions were on the time to shop. I'd love to see that maybe. That, that would probably be pretty cool. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Just wanted to shoot this quick video out to help you guys out in your pursuit of the best weapon or best item in Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. But have a good one and take care.